Okay, so, hi everyone, welcome back to the 666 show. Now, um, what? Oh, sorry about that. I wasn't aware I was wearing sunglasses. Today we'll be discussing a group of females called Hazevot. Or in English, I think uh, she-wolves, uh, female wolves, I don't know, Hazevot. They met in the conservatory. Cons conser conservatorium. They met in the conservatorium. I don't know how you say that in English or in Hebrew. It's a music school in Hulon. Ifat, Moran, Moran, and Shiran. Well, that's kind of easy to remember. So they toured around Israel, mainly around Tel Aviv. They released a few EPs, a few video clips. Really beautiful songs, really emotional songs with a little touch of rock into it. I love you, tell me Hello. Hello everyone watching the show. What are you doing what? here, man? It's Don't not me. Can... I'm not me. Yeah, you're wearing a mask, but take it off. I can still recognize you. It's stupid. Okay, okay. Take okay. it off. Just a minute. God. How dumb do you think I am? So first reason I like them, they are four girls doing rock music, playing instruments. What's not to respect? I mean, especially nowadays when there's like some issues in Israel about religious Jews and females. Well, gotta respect the females who are still doing it, even though we're living in a kind of primitive perspective. The music is a mix of emotional songs and kind of sad songs, but with, like I said, with a little kick, with a little touch of rock into it. Just because they're playing rock doesn't mean they're like limiting themselves to rock. They're doing all kinds of music. Women and rock is the ultimate alchemy because Just it's like... Just attracted to the female artists that play instruments. Awesome. I know all about you. You're attracted to them sexually. It's not nothing about that's the not music. Why I like you think them. they're no, pretty. I mean, yeah, sure, they look, okay. they look good, but that's not the reason. What the hell am I talking it's to truth. you? It's truth. I know truth when I see it. Zip it. כי לראות בנות, אחת מתופפת, אחת עם גיטרה בס, זה נורא... אני לא יודע איך להגיד את זה, שלא יזרקו אותי מהרדיו. אני אגיד בעדינות, זה נורא... רויטל, תגידי, מה את חושבת שרק בנות? למה שרקת שאותי יזרקו מהרדיו? היה אב בית, המתנס הזה שהיינו מנגנות בו, היה כזה מבוגר, שהוא רצה לנעול שם כמה שיותר מוקדם ולחזור הביתה. הפרעתם לו. הפרענו לו מאוד. הוא ככה, היינו צריכות להתחנן, כל פעם תשאיר לנו מפתח, תישאר איתנו, אנחנו עוד, תתן לנו עוד כמה דקות לנגן, והבטחנו לו שאם הוא יישאר וייתן לנו, אז אנחנו נקרא ללהקה על שמו. קראו לו זאב. Second reason I like them is because they are doing music in English and in Hebrew. The lyrics, of course, not that. Not the music, not the musical notes. I mean, usually the Israeli artists are not that approachable, not that easy to listen to Hebrew. So they're doing like a mix, like they're doing some songs with English, some songs with Hebrew. It's like a mix of rock and Israeli rock, because Israeli rock is kind of different. I think the only difference with Israeli rock is that it's in Hebrew. I'm not sure. But anyway, they're mixing that. 
It makes the Israeli rock more approachable to listeners from outside they of sing Israel. They in Hebrew and in English. Oh, this is big accomplishment. Oh, big, big. Why do you think they do that? They want to escape to out of Israel. This is an escape plan. This is not brilliant artists that try to mix it. It's a stupid escape plan. They, they know that the music is not They're, they're open-minded, they dude. That's not why they... They don't want to run away. Who told yes. you they want to run away? You don't even well, know them. They probably doing a day job and they hate it and they want to go out of Israel to succeed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they probably have day job. That's not the reason. I mean, it's not easy in Israel, sure, but but who, uh, why am I even giving you any credibility? You're just an idiot. Klatnu, asinu, ma chalomot. Hollywood. Oh. Hollywood. All right, so third reason I like them is because I grew up in the 90s. And in the 90s, they had a very special kind of music. Now these girls, I don't know how, but for some reason they pulled it off. They're actually doing some 90s music. And I know their age. They definitely did not grow up in the 90s. They grew up way later, like in the end of the 90s, like 2000 and something, whatever. So for me, it's very special to see a band that actually sounds 90s and they're young. I'm not saying it's a fantasy, but come on. It's kind of a dream come true. No, 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 no. There's nothing original in it. They went into YouTube. They copied everything from the Machshefot, uh, the witches, the 90s no, band. No, they're totally they original. Just, they what the hell are you the connecting the them to the witches, to the Machshefot? They're, they're Ooh, two different things. The same thing that they Look, do. Look, man, if you're going to talk some shit, I'm just going to kick your ass. You have to be violent all the time. See you in the next show.